Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Manning Field. is underway. We had eight games to play in this Lynn City tournament for 2019, and we're underway with the eighth. This is the boys' championship final, Lynn Classical, taking on Lynn Tech. And this is a big family affair because right now the Tech family, Coach Moreno, is playing against Coach Moreno. Father coaching Tech, son coaching Classical. This is the second year in a row. Classical won it last year. They're trying to knock Tech off. Jessen Alicorn in net for Tech. Isaiah Diaz for Classical. Classical had an explosion against St. Mary's. They won seven to nothing. Lynn Tech in their game. They went a one-one tie. So it doesn't go as a win for Tech. They won in a shootout. They had to have a shootout. Somebody had to move on. They don't recognize shootouts in the MIA record books. So it goes down as a tie with Lynn English. So they're looking for their first win of the season. They played that game, winning it in the shootout. English missed their last shot after Tech had made it. Both goaltenders made one save apiece in the shootout. But then English missed their last shot. Trying to get the lead pass. It got broken up by the defense. They get it back. Big time save by Alicorn. Boy, they ripped that one. A shot from about the five-yard line, the left side, drilled it on net. I think it was Jer Alvarez. And Alicorn made a terrific save. So Classical is 1-0 and as Classical gets knocked down. And he'll get a free kick. And Lynn Tech is 0-0-1 for state tournament purposes. Kick coming just inside the 25-yard line from an angle to the far side. And it got... I thought it maybe got blocked by that picket fence, but he pulled it wide of the picket fence and it went out of play. And Tech will get to kick it away. Glasgow keeping it in. Popped up. Blocked by Glasgow. And actually, I, I'm, I'm wrong because Tech is 0-1-1 and because they played here yesterday right after the city tournament. They had to come right back and play Shawsheen. They lost a very tough game to Shawsheen. They fell behind 1-0 early. They tied it up in the second half. And the second half, from just outside the 40-yard line, Shawsheen got a free kick. And the kicker popped it straight up in the air. High fly ball, like a fly ball to center field in baseball. And right a couple of steps out in front of the net, everybody went up to get it, and it went off. A Lintec head into the net, and that wound up the winning goal, 2-1. to one. So it was an own goal that cost him. They played well enough. They had all kinds of opportunities and just couldn't put the ball in the net. They passed the ball well. 
They played well. And tech player goes down. Brian Barrera got tripped up. They'll get another tech will get the free kick. Macario will take it. It skips past everybody. Lintec got a swipe at it. And they chipped it wide right and out of play. Picked off by Tech. Shot went wide off the hand. It was going to go out of play. Diaz reached out, grabbed it, held on, and would kick it away. If they could have looked up very quickly, they had to reach back for that first. Here's a little bump, not going to play it down, no call. They're letting it play a little bit. If they could have fielded that initial pass cleanly, they had a, a player wide open in front of the net. They could have got a very good shot off. But they couldn't field it cleanly. They kind of chipped at it. And it wound up turning the ball over. Tech takes it away. And they're letting them play a little bit. A lot of bumping and banging going on. And now they finally call it. I don't know what they call there. There was a that wasn't half as bad as some of the bumps and whacks they've been given early. But they call it against classical, and Deck will kick it away. Trying to knock it deep. It got deflected by Tyler Duggan. And we got bodies going down. They called that one. They took Alexander Ixlage. He played last year. Now this year he's Alexander Ixlage Tello. Knocked out by Classical. And before that, I don't know if somebody touched it or it was a bump because the free kick is going to come from the 45 yard line. Still zeros on the board so far in this championship final. Tech picks it off. And Haskell reaches in and knocks it away. Not to the middle. Classical is there to pick it off. Whacking and banging and bumping. Letting them play. Now it goes off. Tech. And very quickly in the game, we're going to get a timeout. No score. Tech and Classical in the 2019 City Championship. Timeout down on the field.
They used to be at the supper table after this one is over, father, son, or coming over the house to say hello. If, if, if the son is living his own, this is a cross body block. Tech player got hit, cross body, knocked down. And all they, all they get for it is a free kick from inside the five-yard line from the three. If it was basketball, at least they got a couple of foul shots. They moved that picket fence, classical setting up back a couple of steps. Everybody milling around out in front of the net. Out in front, and Classical got a piece of it. I think it was Camarinos that knocked it away. Now we got a trip and a takedown. And I, I still laugh when people tell me this is a non-contact sport. And they play this without pads. Sky high toward the net, it gets tipped right into the hands of Alicorn. Alicorn will kick it away. I know you watch, if you may watch the soccer games on TV sometimes, or even if you see some of the big highlights that ESPN puts on, top 10 plays and they put up 10 worst plays You'll see some of the soccer players really, and I mean really, flopping. And just hope that it's not picked up by these young people who are trying to get, maybe think they can get their team an advantage if they go down. You hope that's not the case. And sometimes you hope it is the case so there's nobody really hurt. They fake, going deep, they keep it blocked. It was taken away by Licardi. Knocked down field. Broken up by Cam Camarinos. They pushed that too far ahead. They were looking for Murphy. Long lead pass, couldn't get there. Too far. Too much mustard on the pass. It went way out of play off to the far side. And Diaz will kick it away. Tech gets there first. Haskell collects. Nice little shift. They knock it deep, looking for a break. Alicorn will come out before Prado Melmonji could get to it. Shot off Alicorn. That was Macario with that hard shot. Alicorn made the save. Haskell and his body getting knocked down. 
Ixlaj Tello looked up and said, what was that? And he said, that was Christian Herrera. Ixlaj Tello will get the, the free kick. Everybody standing around the 10-yard line. All the white shirts picking a partner. Headed away. Trying to turn the corner and can't. I think it's knocked out by Tech. Tyler Duggan will take the throw in from down deep. Almost a corner throw in. And now it'll be a corner kick because it's getting knocked out. Alvarez got a foot on it and knocked it out. Haskell got a foot on it, but couldn't make it pay. And then they get just a little love tap back that Alicorn was able to make an easy save on. So they did get the header off. It got blocked back, and they got that little touch trying to knock it home. And now Tech is going to knock it out, I believe. Haskell coming back again. They knock it deep. Alicorn will hustle out of the net, get there first. Now he just throws it upfield. Pop straight up in here in the middle of the field. Haskell on a couple of hops, gets it back. And now... Just trying to keep it in. It was Prado Melmonji knocking it up. Now he gets it back. Lost it. Banging going on as it goes out. And they call it out of Gomez Godinez. Ariaga will take the throw in after we get a couple of subs. They re replace back little rent and he winds up on the track, on the far side, he's got to go all the way around, stay off the field, and go all the way around. Like he's, like he's, he's going to do a lap on the track, getting around to the other side to get back to his bench. And he went the real long way because he's getting, first bench he's going to come to is classical. By the time he gets to the tech bench, we could be at halftime. Tech broken up. And that was Tyler Duggan. Heck, moving the ball, but they haven't got too many shots on net. They knock it deep, looking for a break. 
Tech's going to get there first and save it. And then Plaskill knocks it out. Tyler Duggan doing the honors. Try to get in front, blocked, and they knock it deep. They misfired trying to knock it back down. Now they knock it too far, it goes out of play. Official call timeout. Somehow the net got moved. Gets it back in place. And now we'll go. That one went off the head of human. Tech got a head on it. Knocked back. Tech had it, lost it. Classical winds up with it. Deep down the far side. Sliding, getting there first was Tech, but stayed in bounds. Now Tech slides and knocks it away. From right in front of the tech bench, classical throws it in, gets headed out, and gets headed up in the seats. Tech stepped in front, took it away. A late whistle, there was a, a collision behind the play. They flipped the ball out in front, Classical got a foot on it, and then they blew the whistle for the collision. So the kick is going to come from the 20-yard line, a little bit of an angle to the far side. Everybody milling around. They drill it, and they got too much foot. Got under it, lifted it way up over the net and out of play. Past the halfway mark of this first half, still no score. Nobody's really come that close. Now the shot from long range, Alicorn able to make the save. We've had a couple of almost that couldn't get their foot on the ball. Uh, Alicorn made a very nice save early in the game. And that's been it for both teams. Now another free kick. And they called it against Classical. I think Classical thought they were going to get it. Tech will kick it away. Tip by Classical all the way back to their goaltender, Diaz. Classical collects, just nice job by Herrera stepping in front. If they get to that ball, they had two on one. The little touch pass would have sent somebody in alone. Classical tips it out of play. Knocked out by Classical. Tech trying to throw it in front. Glasgow knocks it away.
Glasgow collects. Then they go down, and then the Glasgow kids sat on the head of the deck player. Gomez Godinez pushed it by, was going to go by, and the tech player, Lakati blocked him, went down almost like an illegal clip down below. Godinez wound up on top of Lakati, and when he went to get up, he just sat on his head. He stood up and then sat down on his head with a little bit of em emphasis. So there's been a lot going on in this non-contact sport. Free kick for classical coming from outside the 45, actually the 47. Headed away by Tech and cleared away. And then he overran it. And that was an inadvertent trip. He reached back for the ball and he took Samento down. So the kick now will come from just outside the 30. Again, everybody picking a partner. They drill it wide of the net. Good hard shot, but it went wide left. I don't know if that was Soto with that hard shot. Tech trying to knock it deep, and eh, nobody's going to get there. It's going to go out of play. Sliding and knocking it out is Macario. They overthrow the runway with that one, and it goes out of play. I was going to wind up with a corner kick. Coming from the near side. And they boot it way deep and across, and we got a whistle. And they're calling it. They're calling it against Tech, and Classical is going to get a penalty kick. The, it was inside the box. It was bumping and banging, and he called it against Tech. That's a tough call. It's now one on one with the goaltender. Not an easy task. Hit the post and went out. You'd rather be lucky than good. <laughs> they hit it off the post. And it was a solid shot off the post because it bounced out almost to like the 10-yard line. Tech breaks it up. So Tech got a huge break there. And now we got Tech 
taking a classical player down yet again. They took Roble Sandoval down. And Ixlaj Tello, who took that penalty kick and ripped it off the goalpost right, will take the free kick from inside the 35. Tech was trying to let it go. Classical tracks it down. And then sliding, bodies go down. They took classical feet out from under him. And it's going to be a throw in just about from the far corner. Now it's going to be a, a kick from the far corner. Not quite a corner kick. Not much of a difference. Ten minutes and counting left in the scoreless first half. And there's been a lot of banging and bumping going on. We may have to call a cop before this one is over. It slides out in front. Loose. Tech got a head on it. And they're going to call Classical for making contact. And Classical... We'll watch Tech kick it away. And before we do that, we're going to get a timeout. This is the championship final of the 2019 City Tournament. Just under 10 minutes left. No score. Tech and Classical. Coming out of the timeout, Tech will kick it away from deep in their own end. Glasgow trying to keep it alive. Tech knocks it deep. Nobody there except Tyler Duggan. He pops it up. Glasgow knocks it upfield. And we got a couple of bumps, a couple of bangs, and they're calling it off Glasgow. Human banging in to Gomez Cadenas, and they called it off Cadenas. Duggan will throw it in. And we got another collision, and Prado Maimongo goes down. Maimongi goes down. And Alexander Ixlaj Tello will kick it away. They hook it up to the middle and Tech knocks it away. Classical knocks it back the other way. It takes a big bounce. Alcon was running up to play it. Then he had to back a few steps because it took a big hop. If he took one more step forward, it might have bounced over his head. They knock it deep and hustling and knocking it out for classical is Theodore Camarinos. Ariaga will put it in play. Waiting for a sub. Classical takes it away. And then Classical knocks it out. So Ariaga once again will throw it in. Tipped, and they try to tip it back, and they tipped it over the back shoulder out of play. Again, a substitution before Duggan can throw it in.
broken up. Haskell controls, block. Nicely the pass. Tech picked off the pass. Now Classical returns the favor and they kick it all the way back to Diaz. Tech got a head on it. This has been the problem for Tech in their first two games. They had not many opportunities. They got on the board the first game against English, wound up a 1-1 tie. They won it in a shootout. And then when they played Shoshin, they got a goal in the second half. After Shoshin grabbed a 1-0 lead, it was tied again at 1. Shoshin scored late to get a 2-1 to win in the conference. So they've only got Two goals in two games. They've been working hard, moving it. In the Shawshin game, it, they had like 90% possession and territorial-wise. They just couldn't put the ball in the net. And they're having the same problem here. Working hard to get it downfield, but not really getting a good shot off. And we're closing in on four minutes left and a half at 0-0. Zero, zero. And Klaus is going to get another corner kick. Coming from the far side this time. They overshoot the runway. It goes by everybody. All the way over from the far side to the near side. Now they try to knock it deep. Camarino's blocked it, kept it in play. And now Classical knocks it out. And we'll get a substitution. There's a knockdown, not called. Glasgow trying to walk in. And they're going to get Glasgow for reaching over him. Boy, a little bear hug, if you will. Almost a neck hold. Glasgow breaks it up. Tech just can't get inside to get anywhere near getting a shot on net. Now looking for a break. They call Classical offside. They just... From the 25 yard line. Haskell takes it away. Broken up as bodies go down, one from each side. Deflected away and cleared deep. Herrera got a head on it. Classical picks it off. Knocks it deep. Almost a break. Just couldn't. The pass was just a little bit behind Prado Memonji. And he had to reach back for it. If that was online, he would have walked in. They knock it deep. Trying to center it. And they're going to call Tech for the bump. We're in the final two minutes and counting of this scoreless first half. Go, 
And you surely don't want to give up a goal now. Tech knocks it out. Duggan quickly throws it in. Tech takes it away. They knock it deep. It's a foot race. Tech knocked it away. They got an open net. Classical comes over and kicks it away. Diaz come all the way out. And they beat him to the ball. He went down. They knocked it to the net. And the defender for Classical came over and became the goaltender and knocked it away. That's the closest that anybody has come. But that's the, surely the closest that Tech has come. The penalty shot, of course, but Classical was the one big opportunity that hit the goalpost. Now they knock it very deep, and they get a head on it and knock it away as the buzzer sounds. They'll blow the whistle. So they almost headed that one in from the long kick, and they almost stole one, taking it away from the goaltender. But I think it was Herrera came over and became the goaltender and knocked it away. And we started dead even, and we've ended the first half Dead even in this 2019 Boys Championship Final the City Tournament. Classical nothing, Tech nothing at halftime. Back at Manning Field, we're just about set to start the second half. And we brought it down to the second 40 minutes to see if somebody can put the ball in the net. Tech almost gave it away. They call Classical offside. They almost gave that ball away and let Classical walk in. That would have been an auspicious way to start the second half in a championship no-score game. There haven't been too many what you'd call scoring opportunities. Classical had a penalty kick, and they kicked it wide right and hit the post. Blocked, blocked again, and skipped past. And they get the shot off, and they shoot it wide. They were going away from the net at a tough angle, got a foot on it, and knocked it up over the net and out of play. And that's briskly been the story for Tech. They haven't got too many shots on net. That's been the story of the first three games. They've worked the ball hard. They dominated territorial-wise against Shawsheen and wound up losing 2-1. to one. In fact, I talked to the Shawsheen coach coming out of the park after the game. He said to me, on the way home, we're going to buy lottery tickets. He said, we can't be any more lucky than we were today. They went into a shell in the second half and kept Tech off the board, and they got that one fluke goal on it. Tip in off the head of a Tech player out in front off a free kick. Tech had a lot of scoring opportunities and just couldn't put the ball in the net. And they're having the same problem here today. Not from lack of effort, that's for sure. From long range, tipped over the net. That was a rifle shot from Gomez Godinas. And Alicorn had to go up in the air and get two hands on it and tip it up over the net. That's a big time scoring opportunity for Classical. They just missed. mentioned before, it turned out to be a, just a beautiful, gorgeous day. Classical would pick up that kick that was 
over kicks. Now they kick it wide and go out of play. But the first game of the day, the girls' consolation game, Lynn Tech against Lynn Classical girls. It sat a rain, and the forecast was rain around the area. And Cape Cod, I guess, was getting heavy rains, and out west. And they were worried about getting these games in because there's no other time they can play with league schedules starting on Monday, and they'll be playing virtually every game with the teams that are participating. They'll be Maybe different games for different teams, but they could be playing every every day. They couldn't get the shot off. Now they get the shot off and they score. They knocked it off the goaltender. A good hard shot. Jenna Robles Sandoval. Elecon. Got a piece of it, and then it just slipped past them and rolled into the net. So classical gets on the board. Taking it away. Classical knocks it away. Pop straight up and going to go out of play. So Tech has to do something they haven't done very often in their first two games, and that's score. They got one in each of the first two games. They won the first one by way of the shootout in overtime. And is Camarinos knocking it away and out of play. Herrera. Actually, it was Murphy trying to walk in. Broken up. Now classical two on two. They had a man wide open, and they didn't give him the ball. They had two on two. It became two on one, and they didn't throw the pass across. The player coming right down the middle, wide open. And they didn't throw it across. They kept it looking for the shot. Alexander Ixlage Tello was down the middle on that two on two. It became two on one with Prado Maimonji. And Maimonji opted to keep it and try to get the shot off. All he had to do was throw it across. And it would have been almost like a penalty kick, except closer. Ishlaj Tello would have walked in alone. So Tech got a big break there. Broken up. Trying to knock it deep. Only green shirts back there. Herrera boots it upfield. Tech trying to come back. They take the shot from long range. They hit the post. A rifle shot hit the post.
That's how close they came to tying this thing up. So both teams have hit a post. Classical did this on a penalty shot. That was a rifle shot. I don't think Diaz ever saw it. Classical with a break. Coming down the near side, trying to walk in. He tried to slide it across. Ixlodge tried to give it up. That was the same, too. Maimonji, the last time, didn't give it to Ixlodge Tello. This time, Ixlodge Tello tried to give it up. And it got blocked by the classical defense. Might have been Escaplu that blocked it. Classical drilled it, but they drilled it off the back of a tech player, and now they drill it wide left. Well, Classical has picked up the pace a little bit here. Keep it in the tech end and getting some shots off. They haven't hit the net, but they did get the one goal that deflected off the goaltender. Now they've come back with a couple of near misses, and Tech certainly came back with a near miss when they hit the goalpost on a laser beam. Field, nobody there except green shirts. Tipped and knocked out by Tech. Knocked out by Herrera. Knocked out off classical. Next pass picked off by Godinez, and now body's going down. They tie each other up. Tech finally comes away with it. They knock it deep. Caraminos, it looked like he was trying to knock it out of bounds. Kept in, and now Tech gets knocked down inside the 15-yard line. And Tech will get a free kick right about the 12 or 13-yard line is where they'll put it down. Let's see if they can convert. They pop it up, and again, too much foot. Got a high, way wide right over the net and out of play. Plenty of time left, but Tex got a little giddy up in their step. They need a, a goal to get back in it. Trying to keep it alive. Tech hustling, they can't keep it in, it goes out of play. They're calling it off classical, they thought it went off tech. Pop in the air. To the far side, headed away by Duggan. Uh, 
Head away by Herrera. Trying to knock it deep, it got deflected. But getting there was Macario to knock it away. Broken up. They knock it deep. Headed away. Great hustle by Lacal. Short wraps up. Would have gone in the far post. But Diaz is there to play it on a hop. Off the foot of Morales. Way deep back in the tech end. And tech knocks it upfield. Haskell takes it away. Long lead pass. Alicorn will come way out of the net, scoop it up, and kick it away. Gets it out past midfield. Haskell heads it right back in the tech end. They go deep. Trying to get around. Can't. Couple of nice shifts. Bodies gets tangled up. We got a whistle. Tech went down. Kind of blocked classical around the ankles or the knee. Down on the on the turf. They blew the whistle. And I think Klaus is going to get a free kick from about the 12-yard line. Not that big an angle. They're moving that picket fence all the way back. So Classical trying to add to a one nothing lead. We'll have an opportunity here. And he drilled it too high. Get under it too much, get it way up over the net and out of play. They get it up field. Trying to control. Classical takes it right back in the tech end. It's been down here for a while. Broken up. Getting it back. Takes the shot. It was going in the far corner. Alicorn came out. Caught it. That was off the foot of Lobley's Sandoval. And now Tech can't keep it in. Tipped up and knocked away. Now it's gonna go up in the seats. Almost came up in the press box. That's bouncing all over the, the stands. And Herrera knocks it out again. And with Classical leading at one nothing in this city tournament final, we're going to get a timeout down in the field. Out of the timeout, Tech will kick it away. Tech. Couldn't keep it in, just crossed the line. I, th I thought Tech was carrying the ball upfield, lost it out of play, but it gave Tech the throw in. 
Pascal trying to knock it deep. Broken up nicely by Herrera. Popped up. Tech takes it away. Tip to the far side. Clasco will kick it out of play. Throw in down deep. Trying to get around the defense. They're surrounded by four defenders. Trying to sneak through. Still getting a foot on it. Trying to throw it in front. Almost impossible to get it by all those bodies. Haskell body goes down. No call. Body goes down again. No call. Herrera tried to slide and knock it out. Missed it. It's kept in. And nice defense. And then classical body goes down. Knocked down by Macario. <coughs> they let him play a little bit there. There were bodies going all over the place. Classical knocks it out. Robles put it in play. And it goes out. Off classical. x Lodge Tello. And they lose it. Out of play. Halfway through and counting. The second half. Yeah, we got bumping and banging. But again, the bumping and banging, the ball popped up. Tech had it, looking to make a play, and then they blew the whistle. So a little late with the whistle. I, I think they made the right call. But they're not calling it as the contact is being made. Tech couldn't save it. It went out. Classical will get the throw in. Trying to center it. Classical player got knocked down. He's getting back up, and they called the contact. They threw it out in front. Alicorn made the save, but now they're going to get a free kick from a little bit ahead of a corner kick and a little bit of angle, too. So let's see how they play this. They get it up in front. Nice job by Alicorn. Went high in the air and just picked it off. There was a classical player there. John De Human was looking to get ahead on the ball. And Alicorn just stepped in front of him and picked it off. Tech. And again, maybe a little too much one on one trying to get around. They knock it deep, trying to use that speed. And classical got there first. And Tech wound up kicking it out, I think. And Classical's going to wind up with a corner kick. Great hustle by Classical there. A couple of steps behind, they got to the ball first. And 
That was Diego Prado Memonji that got there first. Now well, Classical falls over the goaltender, but he blew the whistle before that. And now it's knocked out by Tech. Classical will get the throw in. Popped up by Herrera. Classical winds up with it. Loose ball. Tech just popped it up to the far side. And now it's knocked away. Classical keeps it alive. Shot from long range. Alicorn makes the save. Tech takes it away. Blocked nicely by Ishlaj Tello. Classical picks off the pass. Trying to walk in. Sliding, taking the ball away and taking a classical play down. And now it gets deflected into the classical bench area. Off tech, classical will get the throw in. Deflected out by Tech. Trying to get around. They got around, but they lost the ball doing it and went out of play. Pushed it by the defense, trying to get around the defense and go get it. And too late. Kick is away. Tech pushing it up. Losing it. Classical knocks it ahead. Nice little shift. Classical gets him around the defense, but then he slide it way off to the right downfield. Alicorn will kick it away. Boots it just about to midfield. And we're going to get classical call for going over the back. Tech will get a free kick from outside the 40-yard line. Shot blocked. Haskell keeps it in play, and they knock it downfield. Herrera hustles and knocks it back up. Glasgow picks it off. With a rush, Glasgow tips it ahead. Stepping and picking off the pass was, I think, Murphy. Skips past everybody. Classical trying to center it. Blocked. Classical looking for a piece. Blocked again. And it's going to be a corner kick, I think, for Classical. Out in front, everybody trying to get a piece. Everybody goes up. Body goes down, and it goes out off classical. Luckily, he was only tying his shoes. He wasn't going down because he got hurt.
He booted away and he booted right out of bounds, not, not close to anybody. The throw in by Maraquin Soto. When they call contact, and Klaus is going to get a free kick. Tough angle. Out of bounds inside the five. And it hooks wide left and out, deflected by that picket fence they put up. So now Klasko will get a corner kick from the near side. Klasko leading it one to nothing. Bye, everybody. Klasko had it. Had it taken away. Tech looking to come back. They knock it deep. Tyler Duggan is the only one there. He's going to let it go out of play. And it, Tech saved it right at the tail end. Just before it went out of bounds, they saved it. And now we got bodies going down. Klaus is going to get called for a takedown. Classical football coach Brian Vaughn would have liked that tackle. From the 25, Tech with a chance. They need a goal. He banged it right off that picket fence. And Tech is going to get called. They just reached their arm out and just slammed Classical to the turf. And then they complained about the call. I can't tell you who did it because they don't have a number 16 on the roster they gave us. Herrera heads it away. And here's number 16 heading it away again. And we get Tech called again for taking classical down. Second time they've taken Gomez Godinez down back to back. We're in the single digits, minutes on the clock, under 10 minutes. Classical holding on to that one nothing lead. Coach Moreno, son, looking at, I believe, make it two in a row over Coach Moreno, father. General Robles Sandoval got the only goal. He got a shot from dead center. Put it in the middle of the net. Alaquan went down, thought he had it. It slipped through and rolled into the net. And now Diaz lets it go wide right off the side of the net. And now the clock becomes the enemy for Lintec because they need a goal and we're winding down. We're closing in on seven minutes left.
We were bumping, whacking, sliding, people taking people down. And we got a yellow card. He complained before, and he complained to the official. I think maybe that's why he got the yellow card. He slid and took the player down, and he gave him a yellow card, and he has to go to the bench. But there was bumping, banging going on with everybody there. He has to go off. I thought he had to go off. They held up a yellow card. He's still out in the field. I thought they held up a yellow card. That's going to get tipped and go out of play. Off tech. And now the player is going out. The official just realized he didn't leave. He stayed on the field. I thought he had to leave with the yellow card. Now he is out. Corner kick coming from the near side. Officials have a little conversation. And now they're pointing everything away. They've taken away the corner kick. And I think they're coming back to the original spot where they presented the yellow card. And Mamaquin Soto was going to kick it from there. Headed away, right onto the foot of Gabriel Samento, and he kicked it back, and Alicorn was able to make the save. Classical has had the ball more often than not, and a lot of time in the tech end. Tech hasn't had that many opportunities. They had one where they hit the post from long range on a rocket. And a couple of others over the net, wide of the net. They haven't had a lot of scoring opportunities. And now the yellow card is back in the game. Didn't stay out long. You look at Tech now with time winding down almost every time downfield they have to make something happen. Tech gets taken down. Classical's going to get called. A lot of contact in this game. It gets by everybody all the way into Diaz in net. And he falls down making the save, and he'll kick it away. They've got a few of those that they've hit right at the goaltender. Now they knock it deep. Tech is going to wind up kicking it in the air and out of play. Costco's trying to save it, thinking they might have a shot. Back checking from behind, takes it away. And now bodies go down. He went between a couple of defenders and he went down hard. 
That's Bubek Garung. He's going to take the kick from just outside the 15 yard line, actually, the 17 yard line. And Tech fans will hold their breath hoping this doesn't go in. He drilled it right in the middle of the net, and Alicorn was right there to scoop it up and keep it out of the net. Glasgow now could be content to just keep it in the tech end if they can. Popped up, couldn't get the kickoff. It got blocked by Herrera nicely. And when he blocked it, it went off the hand of the would-be shooter. I believe it was Samento. Classical right back in the tech end, which is where they want it. Leading one to nothing. Knocked out by Tech. We're approaching the two minute mark. Alicorn will come out and grab the throw in. Classical now just have, has to keep the ball in the tech end. Don't let them get going. Classical breaks it up. Classical breaks it up again. And they couldn't keep it in. It gets knocked out. So we're in the final two minutes. Classical holding on to a one nothing lead. It was Jenna Lobres, Robles Sandoval out in front. The ball got deflected off a defender right in his lap. He got the good hard shot off. Alicorn looked like he made the save, but then it just slipped through underneath him and rolled into the back of the net. And that's the difference. Walking in, Herrera is there, makes the save, and with a cross body block, knocks the classical player down, and he's very slow getting up. And Toes is a non contact sport, and they don't <laughs> wear pads. It baffles me how when they talk about concussions, this is not one of the top sports. I mean, considering the ball is not a cushion, and it, when it was up in the air, everybody hitting it with their head, and then when you get everybody together, heads banging together, and people banging, whacking, knocking people down. It's amazing there aren't more concussions in, in soccer. Trying to get around, still has it, still controlling it, and then finally loses it out of bounds but took some precious time off the clock. Tech really has to get a giddy up in their step now. This would be a second straight very difficult loss as Classical gets called for a takedown. Losing to Shawsheen with a second half goal that was deflected in by a tech player in front of the net. And now they blow the whistle to end the game. Diaz gets the shutout. And Tech is going to get their second straight really difficult loss. They're going to go 0 2 and 1 on this early season. It was Jenna Robles Sandoval. Getting loose out in front, banging it off the goaltender in the second half to get the only goal of the game. Tech worked hard. They had a lot, a lot of opportunities. They have, right after one nothing, they hit a rocket that hit off the post and deflected out, and that's as close as they came in the second half. They would get the ball downfield. They couldn't get a really good shot off. Classical played tough defense after they got that one nothing lead, and both goaltenders played well. 
put that one little blurp on the screen, uh, bounced off the goaltender underneath him and just rolled enough to go in the net. And that was the difference on the goal by Roble Sandoval. And for the second year in a row, Clasco will be the 2000 uh, City Championship. This one in the 2019 City Championship. We'll have the presentation of the trophy and the MVP award when we come back. Roble Sandoval is the MVP of the term, and he got the one goal, and that was enough. But Clasco will get their one nothing win. So the Moreno family, uh, the son, once again, will celebrate a win over the, over the father. They're both terrific coaches. But Tech having a real problem. They won their one game in a shootout, getting only one goal in the game. They only got one goal against Shawsheen in a very tough loss. Now they wind up uh, getting shut out here. So they've got to go to work trying to find a key to open up their offense and get a few more shots on net, score a few more goals. Classical came down a bit. They got seven against St. Mary's. They got one today, but it was enough. And it made them the 2019 city soccer champions as they go undefeated. They're 2-0 on the season. Tech will drop to 0-2-1. one one nothing. the final score. Classical over Tech in the 2019 Lynn City Championship Tournament Boys Division. So we hope you enjoyed it. I'm John Hoffman saying we'll see you next time.